So today we are here in Barranquitas and a long time ago I had seen a place that was called Aviones up here and it was an old airplane that had been hollowed out and they had put tables in and you could eat inside of it as a restaurant but inside of a, an old airplane. After Hurricane Maria it got destroyed uh, and it's no longer open and I'm not sure where the big airplane is. Okay. So, but we, they still have this airplane here available and, you know, on display. I think at one point in time it was up kind of advertising for the restaurant that has kind of a um, suspension bridge and some other things. I'm not sure exactly where that's at along the way here, but um, this is all that remains. It's kind of like a scene out of Lost or something. An old airplane abandoned in the, the tropics. Doesn't have any panels or anything in there. Control panel. And there's no, no any chairs in here. No chairs? Mm -hmm. hey, it looks pretty sturdy. What do you think, Dada? Commander Cakes, what's the mission? The mission is broken. The mission is broken. <laughs> yeah, it is. Where do you think we should go if it was running? Huh? Which planet? To like an Earth. Like another Earth, okay. Uh, <laughs> There's no steering wheel, that's right. It'd be hard to fly this one, huh? Mm -hmm. A cool airplane. Mm -hmm. It would be hard to end this. No one, no one, no one, no one. Uh, uh, one point in time, I think this lined the path yeah, the cute cat, with these airport lights. Kind of a cute idea. Well, we're really in last now. So here's another one of the airplanes. I'm not sure if this one was made for the, the restaurant or not, but totally covered with vines, just like you would find a uh, you know, long lost relic in an adventure movie. It's pretty cool. There's another one, even look, as we keep going. Yeah, this, is, this all used to be a restaurant in the school stuff, but now we've got a fresh fire separation. And the control tower. And the control tower. Look at this. It looks like the whole thing just kind of fell in on there. They had it all propped up. That's pretty cool. Actually, this would have really looked neat, huh? Back in the stairs. Unless they used that one, I'm not sure. But this looks like it would have been pretty accessible. Oh, look at Aiden. He caught a kitty cat, too. Oh, he's so sweet. So cute. Cute. Look at all these pearls. Can you feel them? How is it going? It's a purring kitty.
Ooh, look at our look at our lunch, Aiden. I got a bagel with avocado and egg and egg sandwich pollo. What do we say when we eat, Aiden? Buenaventure. Buenaventure. So now we're still in uh, Barranquitas and we are going to take a little hike down the trail system of Cañón San Cristobal. Uh, so there's a lot of different rivers and waterfalls and places. We're gonna just kind of see where it takes us. I think it's a, an in and out trail of about an hour. So we'll see how it goes. walking down now about 15-20 minutes and now we can start to see the big canyon forming throughout here. This whole area is known for this gigantic canyon, the Canyon de San Cristobal. It's one of the largest drops in elevation or rises in elevation depending on which side of the canyon you are on and so um, we're just starting to see it so Mom. hopefully we'll get to the oh look at you to the bottom of it or close to it to see some of the huge impressive uh, changes in elevation. As we walk along, we see this little house. It looks kind of abandoned, but it's got some old plants. It looks like gandules and some arica palms. Let's look at it. Don Felix. So it makes me think maybe there's a guy named Felix who used to own this property. This whole thing and maybe donated it. Oh, there's an old suitcase. Oh, old doll. Look, Aiden. Is it toy for it? Would you like to live here, Aiden? You like this house? No. <laughs> it needs a little bit of cleanup, huh? Yes. It's a bed. And that lady has no arms. Yeah, that lady has no arms. Mm -hmm. Aiden, look how red the soil is over here in comparison to the other areas we were. And not too far from here, there's the children's play park, and we're not super far from civilization, even though it kind of feels like it, huh? This is the route. It is. Our Beautiful views all along here. Look at this. This is a great trail. So 
after you walk up a long wide trail that would be easily taken with a 4x4 vehicle, you come upon this, which is more like a classic uh, hiking trail, kind of a uh, little bit getting smaller and smaller, kind of a, almost a single lane, so into the, mm. the deep yeah. wooded forest. We made it to the falls. Oh my gosh. This is like something in like the movie Up or something. Look how high these falls are. It's amazing. Wow. I've never seen waterfalls this, this high. Holy cow. This is amazing. Gorgeous. Wow. It goes way down there. Oh, there's people down there. Somebody can get down there. So we are just enjoying our time at this overlook. This is just amazing. I don't think I've seen a waterfall of this sheer magnitude before here in Puerto Rico or anywhere really because I haven't seen that many waterfalls but it just goes and to be above it, to be above something that's this high already just shows you how, how crazy tall this canyon is. Um, I think this is the highest canyon in, in all of Puerto Rico. Um, and I think that is one of, if not the tallest, uh, single drops of water uh, in Puerto Rico. So this is a pretty cool thing. I'm glad that the Para la Naturaleza made this beautiful trail to get here. I'm not sure how to get exactly down to the waterfalls. I know that you can get into some of those charcos, but definitely not from this vantage. <laughs> We are just like returning from an amazing view overlooking the, the waterfall and as we're hiking back we ran into 
Michael, Michael Berrios. And he said, mm. by chance, that his my, my grandfather, grandfather his abuelo, was Don Felix, which this is who this whole area was named after. Yeah. And you have a, even a tat tattoo, yeah. right? Yeah, look, this is Don Felix. With his Democrat sign. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. and what did you say he had? 27 kids. 27 kids and over... <laughs> over 100 grandkids. Grand and you're one of them. Yeah. Yeah. One <laughs> well, of many, one, one of, of many. many. You can have a big, uh, big party with, uh, with everybody who's... Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us know that is such a cool coincidence yeah. that we ran across you from the back. And here's some other. Say hi, say hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. Big fan of the channel. Thank <laughs> you. This is such an awesome coincidence. Okay, what over there?